Hello everyone, thanks for checking out the channel. If you like this video, please remember to like, and if you subscribe, be sure to comment below. I reply to every comment. In the dense forests of the Pacific Northwest, a legend whispered through the trees and echoed in the hearts of the locals. Tales of a mysterious and elusive creature, known only as the Forest Guardian, had been passed down for generations. While some dismissed it as mere folklore, Others swore they had glimpsed its enigmatic figure, guarding the wilderness and preserving the delicate balance of nature. In the small town of Everbrook, nestled between towering pines and winding rivers, the legend of the forest guardian was embraced by most as a source of wonder and awe. But there were those who sought to unravel the truth behind the myth, hoping to bring fame and fortune to their names. Among the seekers was Amelia Carter a spirited young woman with a passion for adventure and a thirst for discovery. Amelia had grown up listening to her grandmother's captivating stories about the forest guardian and the enchanting secrets hidden deep within the woods. With her grandmother's old journal in hand, filled with intricate sketches and cryptic notes, Amelia embarked on a journey to unlock the truth behind the elusive creature. As Amelia delved deeper into the forest, she found herself surrounded by an ancient beauty that seemed untouched by time. The lush greenery hummed with life, and the air was filled with the scents of wildflowers and pine needles. Yet, an underlying sense of mystery lingered, as if the forest itself held its breath, watching her every move. With each passing day, Amelia followed the faint traces and vague leads mentioned in her grandmother's journal. She encountered local villagers who recounted their encounters with the forest guardian describing a creature of both grace and power, with eyes that gleamed like emeralds in the moonlight. Her determination unwavering, Amelia pressed on until she stumbled upon an old man named Elias, a solitary hunter who had lived in the woods for decades. Elias was said to be wise beyond his years, his heart deeply connected to the land he roamed. Intrigued by Amelia's quest, he decided to share a secret passed down through his own family. Elias spoke of a hidden glade deep within the forest, a place of ancient power where the forest guardian was said to reveal itself only to those pure of heart and with the intention to protect rather than exploit. Guided by Elias's wisdom, Amelia made her way to the glade, her heart racing with anticipation. The glade was an ethereal sight to behold. Sunlight filtered through the dense canopy above, casting a gentle glow upon the moss-covered ground. Amidst the tranquility, Amelia felt an unexplainable energy coursing through her veins. She knew she was close. Days turned into nights, and Amelia remained vigilant, waiting patiently for a sign of the forest guardian. Finally, on the fourth night, as the moon hung high in the sky, she felt a presence nearby. A soft rustle of leaves and a gentle breeze signaled the creature's arrival. Emerging from the shadows, the forest guardian revealed itself in all its majestic glory. It was a creature unlike anything Amelia had ever seen, a fusion of the wild and the divine. Its fur glistened with hints of silver and gold, and its eyes were as luminous as the stories had described. For a moment, Amelia and the forest guarding locked eyes, an unspoken understanding passing between them. In that profound connection, she realized that the creature's true role was not that of a protector alone, but a guardian of the human spirit and the bond between nature and humanity. Amelia chose not to approach the creature or disrupt its sanctuary. Instead, she made a silent promise to honor its existence and protect the wilderness it held dear. She returned to Everbrook with newfound reverence for the forest and its mysteries, deciding not to reveal the exact location of the glade or exploit the creature's secret for personal gain. Amelia's journey had taught her that some mysteries were meant to be preserved that the unknown had its place in the tapestry of life. From that day forward, she dedicated her life to promoting conservation efforts, ensuring the fragile beauty of the forest, Gordian's realm, would endure for generations to come. And so, the legend of the forest Gordian lived on, weaving its way into the hearts of those who ventured into the woods, filling them with a sense of wonder and humility, an enduring testament to the enduring magic of the natural world.